Hi everybody, it's Kate here. I just wanted to do a quick little YouTube video on my, my renovation I did on my Victorian Heritage House. It's in Creswick in Ballarat and I actually did most of it myself. Obviously I hired tradesmen <laughs> but I chose the house. I, I, I designed it and then I just had to get obviously you know the planning people involved and tradies as relevant. Now I'm going to talk about the bathroom renovation specifically right now um, because it's it's just such a big book there's so much you can talk about but I will go through the photos of the bathroom renovation just so you can get an idea uh, what I went through this is the um, original uh, bathroom of the house now when we moved in we moved the bathroom the bathroom this was the dining kitchen area and here was the kitchen facing the kitchen there's the bathroom there it's sort of behind the living room tucked behind there it we wanted to open up this area we actually took this wall out and made that all one big large kitchen although when you when you say it like that it sounds really big but at the, at the end of the day it still didn't look that big when we finished so um to, to cut a long story short um basically it was just a, a you know a trial by error sort of thing as we were going along what would fit where we didn't know whether it would aesthetically work and everything but in the end we got a really good design now as i said this was the old bathroom it was really horrible it was falling apart i mean the whole house was falling apart that was the hole outside the shower i think this uh bathroom was added on about 50 maybe 60 years ago and that's after we'd pulled it all down we demolished it and we opened that up to become the new kitchen so that's it all gone now it's just the old floor we didn't put the bathroom there we actually put it up into the master bedroom so i'll just go to that page now and show you where there we go here's the master bedroom and as you can see, I've mapped it out on the floor with the spray paint. <laughs> you know, when it's your own development, you can do whatever you like. <laughs> no one can tell you off. So basically, I decided early on to put the shower in that corner over there, to put the basin here, to put the toilet here, and put the big iron class um, tub there. So this would now be entered from the hallway. And that would be the view from the ensuite facing to the hallway through the new bedroom we're going to basically what we did was we reduced the size of the master bedroom and made it a master bedroom a bathroom and an ensuite so here's the hallway down the left is where you used to go into the master bedroom and then through there so now you go in there and it's just the bathroom whereas here we we cut this out and we made a new entry to the master bedroom and then you went over there behind the bathroom to go to the ensuite that's how we decided to uh, address this, um, you know, this problem. I guess because uh, really it was, it was a, it was just a horrible, horrible situation, and you know, not really very uh, workable or aesthetic. So here's, um, I think this is my um, fittings I bought, and as you can see, oh no, that's the kitchen. Sorry, bathroom look I got them all on eBay and I got them really cheap and they are beautiful quality so I really can't say anything bad about these suppliers from overseas they were about a quarter of the price in the normal retail shops even on sale there was no comparison so we had there you go $75 and they were gorgeous and here's the ensuite vanity which was the same as the the uh, there you go $250 um, the wall hung vanity yep and the bathroom one was 300 and the bathroom one's gorgeous as well it was a lovely solid ceramic top with the uh, timber base beautiful nice good size shower screens again we went to ebay shower screens are actually quite expensive we went with round because we needed the space i mean it just wouldn't have worked square in the ensuite and it saved a lot of space in the um, bathroom as well so that's why we went around it wouldn't be my first choice personally but it just worked big shower heads beautiful shower heads that actually came off if you want them to uh, $150 for them the toilets four star and the slow seat closing seat which was quite good uh, $250 which was good our smaller one was 200 uh, the bathtub little cute set 120 bucks mate it was gorgeous and you know we actually had a tub iron tub and the the demolition guy absolutely accidentally threw it away so we weren't very happy about that but that's that's life that's renovating so we bought this one on ebay a claw foot bath and we paid 300 dollars. and i actually repainted that which i'll show you later i bought this little sign on ebay and i put it on the door for 15 dollars. i like that i actually had that 
in our house where we live now so it reminds me <laughs> I really like it um, okay so just moving down a bit um, get down to about page 140 where are we come on click in please I'm not very good at this so here we go here's um it's all the plumbing that we had to go through to do the development and here we go so here's it being laid now so as you can see here this all this black that's the waterproofing okay so here's your vanity this is the ensuite I can tell by the size of the vanity otherwise you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at it and coming down here there's the tiles I used um, this tile what about white tiles for the floors okay so the floors are the top and the white are the walls nine hundred dollars in total for both bathroom and ensuite okay plus the cost of the trailer to move them because it's bloody heavy oh god that was a nightmare getting them to the property uh, waterproofing the bathroom I bought the waterproofing it was about a hundred dollars hundred eighty dollars I think in, in waterproofing gunk oh that was a bit of a feat uh, I had to put two coats down I did it myself you're allowed to do it yourself if you're renovating new builds have to have it certified um, or I think it's under a certain price I don't know anyway I don't really care it's my house it's life uh, I still own it so uh, the waterproofing you just put everywhere you think might get water and this house particularly you want to protect because it's already you know on its knees so to speak <laughs> well I say it's on its knees it, it might disagree with me you know and say no I'm doing fine thank you now here's me tiling and renovating so there's the main bathroom um, as you said a bit wider the vanity and here's the the nice size um, mirrors there you go what if I two dollars fifty a cut that's if the shop cuts it but I cut them myself most of them god that was lucky I bought extras that's all I'll say I actually put mosaic white mosaic on the wall and I really like this photo I'm going to zoom in because you can see there how wonderful that mosaic looks it looked spectacular that was before I grouted it because once I grouted it you see how you can define that it's mosaic once I grouted it with white grout it just became a big white wall it didn't look good at all I wish I'd known that I would have used a black grout I just didn't know the white walls they look good there but they looked even better with white grout they came up lovely so that was sort of you know understandable so here's the bath that I actually bought which you saw back up there and here I've repainted it now I actually painted it on the outside the same colors of my walls throughout the house and that was also the same colors that we painted it on the exterior it was uh, a, a dual like uh, sorry not dual like it was a color bond color I it, the color escapes me I've probably written it here somewhere what I painted it um, but it was just the wall paint I used I mean why not and the feet it's just a little can of silver paint you get for $18 at the you know the paint shop this stuff inside though that had to be special enamel paint and it's obviously called a bathtub paint so it's very specific for its task and and you can see that it really um really made it pop it, it was you know what paper bark there's the color it was absolutely beautiful the bathrooms were probably my favorite part of the whole house honestly it was just you know a real treat here it is in place I will tell you it was bloody heavy I actually had uh, about five guys helping me move it the plumbers were like oh we can't move that on our own it's too hard I, I was certain they're gonna break tiles and I was absolutely frightened because I thought how am I gonna fix it I'm the Tyler you know bloody hell you know what I was just lucky we got it in it fit only just I don't think I left allowances for the tiling so it was really tight fit but it was okay we put it in place they'd obviously the plumbers had measured where the hole was going to be it was fit all like a dream it was incredible but it looks so nice when it went in anyway so then we're getting right near the end and I think we sort of come down to about here these are the after shots I'll just get to the bathroom because that's probably what you want to see at the moment and this is the ensuite it was my favorite room in the whole house uh, beautiful drop light about hundred dollars on eBay um, Ikea curtains just black shears with linen um, from Ikea about hundred dollars I think uh, beautiful cabinet came up the marble on the floor matches the marble on the backsplash uh, you know the finish there with the handle match the toilet roll handle you can see it a bit closer up there the beautiful flick tap with the white finish oh it was absolutely stunning I I just wished I could have taken it home. It was so pretty. Uh, this is an IKEA hanging rack. IKEA. Uh, that wasn't that was eBay. Just a toilet hole roll. It matched the handing one, the handle one. Um, the toilet, as you can see, soft flushing uh, seat looked very smart in white. 
for some reason different color lens brings out a different color picture this is actually taken a different day because you can see here this is sitting on my toilet and up here the pictures hangings so I think I don't know what I've done there anyway it doesn't matter there's the I think I take a better photo of this that's the shower that was um, you know whatever you call it you could take it off here was the bathroom all the colors go throughout it was it was really wonderful so I'll just get down to the bathroom which will be here okay there's my little cute hanging thing facing the shower again you know that sort of the fancy sort of toilet roll holder and and towel holder was all in this room I just used a ladder rack which I got on eBay for about ninety dollars just put these cheap pictures I can't even remember where I got them <laughs> There's that good I put a mat down because some of the tile glue didn't quite get up. It was quite hard work that tiling or fixing it anyway. And that's the end result. As you can see, I put a white bunch and a white cupboard here instead of brown like the ensuite just to make it a little bit different. I had to get a wider um, overhead cupboard. I think they were about 20, 200 bucks each. They were just gorgeous. It was, a, you know, to me, this bathroom renovation was a success in every way. Just the finish, the look, the feel, the presentation, the practicality. Uh, it was a winner. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. You can get the book if you want and you can see the whole renovation. Um, it's I'll put the link below to Amazon. Thanks. Bye.